we are still in Helsinki. We are currently at a place they call Senate Square. Um, a tourist area. Now, you don't see many people in Helsinki because, you know, it's holiday season. When it's June, July, a lot of the citizens go on a holiday somewhere, you know, because the sun is up and it's so nice and exciting. So there aren't that many uh, people in the city centers. The people you see milling about are tourists. And so you see all these large tour buses to my right and to my left, as you can see, you know, offloading tourists for people, you know, to look at the city. But I'm showing you these bicycles, my friend. And there's a reason why I'm showing you these bicycles. Now, these bicycles are for hire. No one wants to come and bear the cost of parking in the city center. It's expensive to park in the city center. So people would rather come into the city center with a train or a tram. And what they do when they are in the city center is to pick one of these, either a bicycle or a scooter. These are, these are the Intin now, this is the Ish. If you go to many European and North American capitals, these are the sort of stuff that people use. You know, you download an app, there's a QR code on this, as you can see, and then um, once the app is on your phone, you show it to the QR code, it gives you access to one of these um, scooters. But there's another reason why I'm showing you these bicycles. Very beautiful, but I want you to come with me. As you can see from here, the bikes are on a particular panel, okay? Now this is a parking booth for the bike. So you, you, you come here, you pick up a bike, and they are all over the place. But this year, my friends, there's a solar panel. That is a solar panel. Now connected here, and the panel charges these bicycles. You would know, uh, Finland is a Nordic country, northern part of Europe, so it snows a lot, you know? But in the winter, in the summer, there's a lot of sunshine. Well, there are a couple of trams, you know, passing by us, as you can see, um, all using electric, you know, um, electricity. These are trams, but let's focus on the bicycles for a moment. So the solar panel charges the bicycles, and so when you are riding and paddling, you don't even have to, you know, suffer um, that much because these are electronic, you know, bicycles, chargeable, my friend, by solar panel. In a country that does not have that much sunshine, I mean, they get averagely two months of sunshine, yet they are harnessing, they are harvesting the power of solar for their own benefit. Green energy you know renewable energy solar is the future solar is the way to go with very little sunshine in africa how much sunshine do we have 365 days of sunshine in a year and yet you see very limited activity very limited attempt to harness the power of solar sunshine natural from baba god you know we don't have to pay for it you know and this is all leadership, my friend. It's nothing but leadership, you know? And that's exactly what Africa needs. But I'm also gonna show you the price. So um, on the solar panel, to use any of these bikes for a day, it costs you five euros. And five euros is what, like 50 Ghana cities, you know? To use it for a week, um, you pay 10 euros. To use it for a whole season, you know, probably summer, you pay 35 euros. And um, there are some instructions, you know, um, as to how to use. So you see number one, once you pick the bike, you press the green button, you know. Number two, make sure that you see return okay or finish appear on the screen. 
that is if you are returning the bike simple instructions and beyond that it gives you a map also i want you to see this it gives you a map of the city to make it easier for visitors to make it easier you know uh, even for residents who are not familiar with certain parts of the of the of the of the city you know to be able to access and um, aside these electronic bikes you know that uses that use uh, solar obviously there are ordinary bicycles as well and you can see a lot of people you know um, it's a means of transport people get by on some of these bicycles exercise you know fun getting by in the city not getting a lot of charges because parking in any serious city in the world is very very expensive and that is why some of us are hoping that city managers would put would stop putting square pegs in round holes you know you put in dcs and mcs and you know uh, mayors in places who don't have the ingenuity the creativity to decongest the cities these are some of the strategies that have been put in place to make sure that not many cars come into the city and you know beyond this the transport system is very very efficient you know the trams are running efficiently the trains are running efficiently and with cities like accra and lagos that are so congested you know we could be a little creative we don't have that much space you know government may not be able to compensate a lot of people for demolishing their stores and houses to build bigger roads but at least we could do things like this where vehicles and and trams monorails could be used you know to help commuters get by our cities are extremely congested and choked you know and um these things can only happen when we have the right people in leadership not square pegs in round holes as has been the case in many you know countries in in africa where we we put people who have no clue absolutely as to how to even get you know more revenue for the various uh, metropolitan areas but i believe that uh, it is program like this that opens the eyes of leaders and we need to keep making the point and harping on the fact that we need better leadership in africa you know that the status quo cannot be accepted as you can see somebody's just come to pick a bike and um, He's gonna ride in the city, you know. It's beautiful. It's got a career. He can put his bike bag on and uh, have a nice time. Good morning, sir. Hello. Uh, we're doing a documentary for okay. television in Ghana and, uh, okay. and for YouTube. You mind if we speak to you for a minute? Yes. Uh, okay. Are you a resident of the city? Yes, of course. Yes. Okay. I've been living in Helsinki. Okay. For how long? Uh, almost all my life. Uh, I'm, uh, we moved, our family moved here in 1969. 1969. Nine. That's yeah. a long time ago. <laughs> That's a long time ago. Well, the, the UN says that your city, your country, as a matter of fact, yeah, is yeah, the this happiest is my city. place to live on for, the planet for, Earth. For, for, for me. Even for <laughs> you. For me, it Absolutely. is. Absolutely. What makes it the happiest place to live? I think many, you know, the, the system works. The, the system works. The system works and it's not too big city so okay. it's the distances are not too big the traffic okay. is okay. okay and yeah it's easy to move around in the city with the bike with the bus the public transport you don't need a car in the Helsinki. why are you opting for the bike this is the easiest way to you know have a short distance in the in the city center okay it costs uh, five 30, euros no 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 for the for the whole season for the whole from, season for the whole season is 35 euros okay from half a year half a year yeah of okay. course in the winter time you can't, uh, you can't drive away yeah. oh, you can but it's it's yeah, not it's very uh, cold. i don't like yeah i don't like it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow so um you're going somewhere shorter and that's why you yeah yeah it's five minutes with the bike okay. so this is the okay. easiest i could walk but I'm, I'm faster absolutely and you know, it's good exercise as well for your tires yeah of course of course oh, <laughs> i get the suntan and you gotta burn a few calories <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, Yari Haryu. Yari Haryu. Yari is my first name. Okay. Okay. And Haryu. Thank yeah. you. It's nice meeting you. Yeah. And uh, we're in love with your city. It's a beautiful city. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have uh, luck with the weather. It's really nice for the weather, weather is now. The weather phenomenal. You know, yeah, yeah, I yeah. wish I was wearing the pants like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs>
a month ago it was uh, 15 degrees and uh, nights were really cold so okay. now it's real summer well enjoy the summer thank ah, you, very you much. too how do i say thank you in uh, finnish kitos kitos <laughs> kitos my friend thank you very much so that is it from us uh, i hope you enjoyed this good afternoon wherever you may be watching us from it's past midday um here in uh Helsinki, if you're in Ghana, we are three hours ahead of you, uh, so it's still morning in, in Ghana, but we hope you are enjoying the sights, the sounds. We're going to see a bit more of uh, the city of Helsinki. We, we are exploring Helsinki, which is the capital of Finland. Absolutely a nice place to live, and it's no wonder for the fourth year running, the UN, the Happiness Reports, has named this place as the happiest place to live and you can understand why the people are free um you're having a nice time you know the government supports the system he said that the system works that's exactly what we need to do to change you know africa to be able to do that we need to put in place the right leaders my friend to make sure that the system the system works eliminate incidences of of corruption and spend our money wisely you know absolutely um whoa what a beautiful sight to behold uh, there's a carriage there's a carriage coming uh probably a tall carriage um i don't know where they are heading you know two horses i can see um, absolutely a beautiful sight to behold i want to i want you to get that view before we end this live broadcast on facebook the horses are very beautiful you should know that I, I love I love horses you know I love to ride and um, look at that look at that see if we can get a shot of a close-up shot of that and then uh, we can uh, end this live video so a lot of these people who are on some of these carriages are tourists and as I said you see a lot of uh, tour buses you know a lot of them use solar as well electronically fitted they've got you know 24 7 internet access the bathrooms are cleaner you know um vehicles are cleaning the streets you know they're in every place you know um looking clean and nicer every now and then this is what we need to do uh to make sure that our cities are cleaner but to get there put in place the right leadership leadership my friend is what makes systems Way. thank you and have a good morning if you are in accra or good afternoon if you are in finland or in israel thanks for watching